Som Chun Kui. President, please be seated. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Now I will hand over the floor to Judge Momoli Jaria to put questions to this witness. La parole à mon confrère, Judge Momoli Jaria. Judge Mong Muni Jaria, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, beaucoup, le President and the bench. Je remercie mes confrères et consoeurs. I know you have been tired since the morning, but Vous please be fatigué, patient. Monsieur le témoin. We are going to end very soon. Mais il est prêt à faire preuve d'un peu de patience, nous allons terminer bientôt. I have listened attentively to your testimony since the morning, but there are some points which I need to seek your clarification. You stated that you attended and participated in meetings. And uh, the word enemy was used in the democratic Cambodia. On utilisait le terme ennemi sous le Cambodia. What do you understand from this word? And uh, what kind of people would consider enemy? Enemy. Et quel type de personne était considéré comme des ennemis? But in some regard, witness, I would like to give my response. Concerning the word enemy, vous ma réponse à as de ce far terme as terme I am enemy. concerned, the word enemy was generally term that, and it was referred to concerne, those who were against uh, the revolution. Enemy était employé pour désigner ceux qui étaient contre la révolution. And the word enemy was never used uh, during uh, the meeting that I attended. Mais jamais ce mot n'a-t-il été prononcé lors des réunions auxquelles And as you stated, if a um, worker in the ploughing unit uh, broke si un the travailleur materials, uh, he or she would be considered an enemy because he or she uh, was accused of uh, breaking a material and uh, destroying agricultural production. This is one example. And another example concerned the individual who were working and uh, fell sick. Concerne les personnes qui tombaient malades. If they uh, fell sick and uh, did not go to work si in time, malade, these people could also be considered enemies. Être so the word enemy were term and used to alert and to intimidate uh, people at their time. And I was afraid of being accused of an enemy as well. Judge Mongni Chakya. I would like to ask for your elaboration on the word enemy. I am now referring to the uh, former soldier in Lodnol regime. The soldiers who were living in your commune, were they considered uh, enemy or they were considered enemy only if they were acting in the region, in your commune? But Answer. At my commune, I did not consider these people enemies. Dans ma commune, je I les noted pas that comme they des were children of uh, based people. C'était des enfants de gens du peuple de base. And I 
alerted an advice to my colleagues that although they were Et former a civil servant of soldier in the former si regime, they were ordinary citizens. But des citoyens ordinaires. if uh, these people committed Mais a riot or any action si against us, they would be considered enemies. Nous, ils seraient alors considérés comme des ennemis. Question. You stated about two meetings. One, you stated that de there was an education meeting or there was a conference. conference. And Jung perhaps there may have been confusion in the two words uh, you used. Maybe there was a little confusion between the terms you used. You stated that uh, you attended education vous meetings and conferences be perhaps uh, before the 17 April 1975. I would like to seek your confirmation whether you attended uh, those meetings uh, before 17 April 1975 or after that time. President Interrupt. Uh, Mr. Winnes, please wait for the microphone to go on le before président. you speak. Answer the word Réponse. conference and le mot training sessions conference ou or study sessions. Session de, de formation. I use uh, this term in, 19, in the period of 1971. The word uh, conference and study uh, sessions were generally used, and usually in this meeting. Of health to educate people about agricultural production, and uh, the meeting was also held to announce the liberation of uh, the of some certain areas, such as in Takao province and in other zones. There were study sessions held as well in the period of 1971. And the, there were documents concerning National documents United Front. And in this meeting, mutual uh, farming uh, was also discussed. Mais on discutait aussi de d'agriculture. Judge. Momni Jaya, Mr. Witness, please listen Monsieur carefully to my question. I would like to ask you about the time that the meetings were held. I would like to know whether those study sessions and conference taking place up after 1975, after 17 April 1975, or before that time. Answer. Réponse. Concerning the summary conferences, said the witness, they were held before 1975, and uh, these conferences were held annually in the forest. Et avait lieu sur une base annuelle dans la forêt. And as for study sessions, after 1975, I observed that there were study sessions one morning study session at Phnom Krail to disseminate policy on education regarding uh, people in the city and uh, based people in regions. Question, I would like to summarize what you have just stated. You recall that you attended the two meetings, once in Takao and another one at Krail Mountain. From my understanding, there were other meetings as well so from the period of 1971 and 1975, and I am not sure which meetings you are referring to. I understand that you attended a one study session 
d'y avoir participé yeah, à une session d'études. Mountain, Mountain après 1975. And you also stated uh, that you attended another meeting before 1975. When was it exactly? Answer. The meeting held Réponse. in Takeo province uh, was after 1975. La réunion de Takeo, From your statement, Question. there was a meeting which Tamok participated, Tamok a participé à une and in that meeting, Tamok uh, did not address uh, the meeting, Tamok but Saum did. And Saum advised that former soldier of Lonol should not be harmed. After you heard the statement, such statement made by Tassam, what was the reaction of Tamok at that time? Quand Tassam a dit cela, quelle était la réaction de Tamok? Answer. Réponse. Tassam addressed the meeting at that time, and uh, there was no reaction Tassam from Tamok. Parlait à l'assemblée à ce moment-là. Because Tamok the, the policy at that time. Or was the low respects the Car, à higher la était upper echelon? So I believe that uh, the instruction was also from Tamok, that is the zone leader. Que cette instruction venait aussi de Tamok, qui était le chef de zone. I have another question to put to you. You stated question. this morning as well concerning the ultimate decision on life and death Ce issues. Matin, vous avez parlé de and you stated that la de de only Et vous avez dit the party center could make ultimate decision on lives of people, and the commune and district décision. level did Alors, not que Hold les responsables au niveau de district ou de la commune ne pouvaient so le faire. Could you on that? So, 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 Mr. Witness, you are reminded to observe the microphone before you speak. Et veuillez attendre que l'on allume votre micro pour parler. Answer. Before I made the report to the district level, we had a consensus within the commune level. And as I stated, in one commune committee, there were three, four, or five members. And after the committee discussed the matter, donc, among the secret comité, secretary and members euh, entre le about certain action happening at the commune, and uh, we discussed uh, what commune. action should Nous we do and uh, what type. kind of content should we put in the report. And after the discussion, de we que nous devions mettre dans notre rapport et quels seraient les gestes à poser. Et ensuite, nous faisons un rapport This sur is the, uh, working nous faisons approach. un rapport. Ce this sur was the working approach among entendu, uh, my committee at that time. Comité. Judge Maumuni Jaya, thank you very much. Le juge. President. Merci beaucoup. Now I would like to hand over the floor to Judge Millard. Je to la présent la parole à la juge Millard. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. La juge Millard. Uh, Merci. Mr. Monsieur. Witness, uh, could I please um, uh, refer one more time to this uh, meeting at Takeo. Faire à cette Could you possibly Takeo, recall um, how long after the liberation Vous was that meeting held? Quand? Combien de temps après la libération cette réunion a eu lieu? Réponse. 
worst five days after and the meeting was uh, pretty large as cadres from various provinces including Takeo, Kampot and Kampong Spe and Sector 25 attended the meeting. Precisely five days. Cinq jours, exactement. Do I hear correctly? Ai-je bien compris? Bad people. Réponse. I think I uh, recall it clearly now. Oui, it souviens, was five bien. days, uh, oh, not non. three days. C'était cinq jours, uh, pas, pas trop. No, made to be clear. How would you explain the necessity of this um, uh, order that was issued at this meeting or announced at this meeting Comment pouvez-vous expliquer le about sparing um, the soldiers de donner un tel ordre visant à ne pas toucher les soldats During the five day study session in fact, the, 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 the study sessions were only for three days, and then we would do self criticism for two days. The first day was about the economics, and the second day was about the solidarity within the party. By that time, the were parties were due, and the third day was about strengthening the cooperatives and the basis. And the remaining two days were for us to reflect ourselves during these so-called criticism and criticism meetings. Every one of us would uh, take the floor and uh, questions or comments or criticism would be made. And that applies to every participant. Thank you. But the uh, representation uh, that was made in this meeting, according to your testimony today and earlier, um, that I, uh, the London soldiers uh, from Colonel Down were not to be harmed. Was this uh, necessitated by any event that happened before this meeting? Or why do you, how would you explain there was a reason for this statement, for this directive? Allow me to respond. First, uh, the, the meeting was held at Crow Mountains, that is after 17 April 1975, meaning after the entire country had been liberated. And secondly, I have already reiterated my point on the content of the meeting. We were instructed to collect forces, to build forces, because in each commune it was unavoidable that the people at the best had relatives living in the cities. So they want the best people and the new people to be at ease with one another when those uh, people were sent from the cities back to the respective villages. Because although they lived in the cities, their parents, their, mem their members of the families contributed to the movement of the revolution by sacrificing their their time, their property, their cattle, for instance. 
entre autres. I understand the uh, uh, overall uh, ideology that, that, that you convey, but uh, was there any practical necessity to issue such order? Was there a threat of, peeping, of people getting killed that prompted this order? Or was there a question asked by the collective who participated in this meeting? We are just wondering what prompted the issuance of this uh, directive or order. I didn't know the details of uh, the matter or their policies. However, I can speak about the my Kyungtung commune. Mais je peux parler de ce qui se passait dans ma commune. Those people who had ranks or lower ranks or a corporal or a private who lived in my commune, exemple, they were not high. But I cannot say about uh, them living in other uh, communes. Je ne sais pas ce qui est advenu. Um, I would like to ask the question that uh, was asked but uh, was not answered, um, whether the, um, that order was followed in your commune. This is how we are to understand it. Allow me to respond. In my uh, commune, we educated the people, and that is in theory, but uh, the actual implementation was non-existent regarding those former soldiers or civil servants. And that's what happened on the ground in my commune. Implementation was not what? Excuse me, I'm asking the translation. I refer to the implementation of the policies that the former policemen or soldiers were to be sent. Il fallait envoyer les anciens policiers et soldats. Was this order or directive ever formally rescinded, revoked, or disobeyed? Cet ordre a-t-il jamais été révoqué? Y a-t-on déjà désobéi? Yes. On the issue of the instruction, and I refer to uh, the to the villages in my commune. We carried out the instruction, but I Nous cannot tell you uh, to what extent the instruction had been implemented. However, allow me to elaborate a little bit further. Vous de un peu plus de at, at one point in time, I attended a meeting at the district, à une réunion and district uh, une fois. Nier, Nier said that we at the best, if we bases, saw uh, soldiers coming si through make their own station in our uh, commune or their barrack in our commune, then we should not interfere and we should allow them to do so. This did not happen in my Mais commune. I did not see soldiers coming to camp in Personne my commune at all. Going back to my question, maybe just part of it, did this, uh, has this order ever been changed?
No, there was no change to non. the outstanding instruction. Il n'y a pas eu pas de changement de construction. However, uh, allow me to add that in late 77 and early 78, there was an instruction from the uh, upper level where the secretary of the commune uh, received, and by that time I was demoted uh, from my position and to become an ordinary member, so I was not aware of the details or the content of uh, that instruction received by the uh, secretary. And in general, uh, sketch uh, what uh, would this instruction would have been about. Quelles étaient les grandes lignes de cette instruction? You were not aware of details, but from what you know, what was it about? De quoi, sur quoi portait-elle cette instruction? It is my understanding that the instruction was to gather all kinds of forces available in order to form just one unity to live uh, as one uh, nation. The Mok said we had to uh, increase our uh, production and to defend our country. Was this um, considered a change from uh, the policy of uh, not touching the um, former uh, London soldiers? A change from this policy that it would not touch the soldiers of London? Some of you can get to know why they can't ban Kuhn. From what no, uh, I uh, saw at the uh, Krang Tachan réponse. and at the dual slide, I made a conclusion that that uh, there was a change and it's because of uh, those who died uh, that uh, led to a shift in the instruction. C'est à cause de ces morts qu'il y a eu un changement. Thank you. Judge Mila. President. Mr. Witness, I'd like to seek a minor clarification from you. You just stated that the meeting after the liberation was a trial de la mountain, and another one was held at the Kai province. Was the one held at the Kai province long after the country had been liberated? Réunion. À Phnom Trial, s'est-elle tenue bien après la libération du pays? Your honor, the Réponse. meeting held at the Trial Mountain la qui was about the two months after the entire country had been liberated. As for the meeting held in Takao, it was in late 1976. It was around December 1976. Thank you, Your Honor. President, uh, we don't have any more questions for you, Mr. Witness, and we are grateful for your time to testify before us. And you may now be excused from the courtroom. The chamber would like to inform the uh, parties and everyone else that uh, we have turned the proceedings today and resume tomorrow. 
in order to hear testimony of SCW3 commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Security personnel are instructed to take the accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom before the commencement of the proceedings. The hearing is now adjourned. Hello.